we pretty much um, lack so much self-awareness. So when you, most people, even though people have like natural kind of like very self-aware, develop it somewhere or another, develop it more than other people, they still get, sometimes you get stuck at a level where you're like, yeah, you, you realize you're this, but that's it, you don't, you don't realize other aspects of you. That's why a lot of people, for example, they don't like to see themselves in photos or they don't like to be recorded film because they, we also, we don't only not self-aware, but we fight being self-aware. We don't want to hear criticism. We don't want to hear advice. We don't want to hear anything that has to do with like, we don't want to hear what people think about us. Unless it's something that literally sounds nice really really nice where you know something that everybody wants to hear like everybody wants to hear they're beautiful everybody wants to hear they're smart everybody's hear all these positive things and we eat whether we see ourselves delusionally see ourselves like that or not if somebody tells us this like um even if we're not good at taking like a, a compliments like i'm not good at taking compliments it's nothing to do with my upbringing probably so i'm not good at taking compliments but like I don't get mad if somebody tells me that I'm pretty, you know? Like, of course I'm gonna, you know, now obviously I have that little vibe like, this person has bad taste. But, um, another side of me, uh, I'm like, should I say thank you? What should I say? I don't know, I feel weird. Like, like no. And then I'll say things like, no, I'm, I'm not. I look disgusting today or something because we're just so bad at acknowledging the compliments and we're just insecure or whatever. But, um, nothing changes the fact that that, that compliment there might have made our day. So yes, we do want to hear compliments, but if we hear, want to hear a criticism thing, like that the person thinks that we should change, that we should adjust, that it's not okay that he didn't like or something. Oh, we don't want to hear that. That person's an asshole, that's a jerk. Why would he say this such thing to me, you know? And, and, and yeah, on the other hand, for example, this person might not have the best way of saying things. Something that I struggle a lot with, as I still do. I still probably say things like, not 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 in the best way, but I'm I'm this isn't me really trying. But I've been getting a lot better, so it's been an improvement. Everything is complex. So let's look at these two scenarios right here. We have the person that doesn't want to hear shit, doesn't want to hear anything about it. They don't think that they should change. Why? And then like, well, there's this. I guess this common knowledge about like you know people need to get better being better people or whatever so okay let me make it more clear so let's say i don't like my co-worker is she's so sassy and mean but then somebody tells me that i am sassy and mean but then i'm like no i'm not i'm not sassy and mean and then i find out or i've been recently or i've been knowing that i'm autistic so then i'll try to find an excuse to be all like no 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 I'm not sassy and mean. I'm just autistic. She's sassy and mean. She should change because she's neurotypical. She shouldn't be that way. But I'm, I'm not sassy and mean. It, that's, that's your percent. You think I'm sassy and mean because you don't, you don't know what autistic people are like. So, yeah, that's, that's, uh, that's yeah. I'm not, I'm not, I, I know, I hear that I'm sassy and mean a lot, but I don't mean to be as mean and sassy. Like, that's just, you know, I don't mean to be brutally honest. That's just my autism. So I do understand that concept because that's exactly how I used to feel. But then I learned something. I learned that there's no easy way to say this, but uh, people don't give two shits. They don't give a fuck if you're autistic or not. They really don't care. If you want them to feel sorry for you for having a real strong disability where like it completely debilitates you or completely substantially overtakes or or debilitates an aspect of your life then maybe they'll pity you maybe and they'll probably might be nice to you because they pity you but not because they're nice people and not because you just have this this card that describes like oh i am this and let me explain that a little more because maybe you heard this before but you haven't understood it really good. So let me explain this to you, okay? When a person has problems, internal problems, which we all have, neurotypical or not, when a person has internal problems, internal issues, problems in their home, they are a perception of who they are. They will bounce back. Anything that you do, 
that is slightly unknown or slightly socially inappropriate, which this goes back to the, you know, man, is there a manner for social thing that I missed, right? That's why you think we're gonna talk about that in another video. This person will perceive that as, as negative, right? And whatever they're feeling, whatever they're thinking, whatever they, they've been experiencing in their life, whatever they feel on the inside, they're going to project that onto you. So whether you meant to be really, whether you meant to be rude with a comment, whether you meant to um, not be rude by entering a room without knocking, or whether you meant to, whatever it is that you did, this person is going to react based on her perception of life and her inner self. So she's going to criticize you hard. And when you say things like, oh, I'm autistic, if this person doesn't know the first thing about autism, which most people don't. All you're really doing is, like this person, like I said, perception of herself, is going to think, oh wow, so now I'm supposed to feel sorry for you and forgive you for being rude? This person is only gonna grab what you say and smash it and step on it and, be, and laugh at it. And that's what you're doing. You know, he's gonna grab your condition and he's gonna step on it. Maybe pity it a little bit, but still step on it and like maybe say something really mean to you back or say nothing at all turn around and roll her eyes and speak shit about you talk shit about you and then your reputation will be ruined because she's not gonna say like oh yeah so and so she was like she said this and she was this you know that was i was upset it was so inappropriate but um then she said she was this so that was totally fine like i understood like poor thing like you know like she didn't mean to because you know autistic people do this. no that's not what she that's not what's gonna happen she's gonna turn around Maybe talk to somebody. She, she will talk. Trust me. Something that impacted her today. She will go and talk about it. And